Hello everyone, welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic that is Helminthiasis. Helminthes are parasites and Helminthiasis is also known as worm infestation. It is divided into three types. Flukes, also known as trematodes. Tapeworm, also known as cystode. Roundworm, also known as nematode. What is difference between these three types? Let's discuss about this. Cystode. In cystodes, shape are tape-like and segmented. This is a diagram of tapeworm and known as cystode. Diagram, we can see it is resembling like a tape and there is a presence of various segments. In trematode, shape is leaf-like and unsegmented. This shape is resembling like a leaf and it is unsegmented. There is no segment present. But in case of nematode, it is cylindrical, elongated and unsegmented. It is a round bone. In case of cystode, sexes are not separate. In this cystodes, sex are not separate. In flukes, sex are also not separate. But in case of round bone, it is developed. Sex are separate. Male and female worms are different. In case of head and in cystode, suckers are present with hooks. But in case of fluke, only suckers are present. No hooks is there. In case of nematode, no sucker and no hooks are present. It is developed. Moving to ascariasis. What is ascariasis? It is caused by a round worm, Ascariasis lumbricoid. This is a diagram of Ascariasis lumbricoid. It is present in intestine of humans. This female Ascariasis is larger as compared to male, caused by Ascariasis lumbricoids. Adult male is 15 to 30 centimeter in size, whereas adult female is larger, 20 to 35 centimeter in size. Transmission is by fecal root. How transmission is going on? We will discuss in next slide. Each female worm will give 2 lakh egg per day. Imagine numbers. 2 lakh egg per day. Eggs are highly resistant and viable up to 6 years of life. Life cycle of Ascariasis. Suppose this is a person infected with ascariasis. Male and female ascariasis is present in intestine. They will give egg. This egg will be passed in stool. And this person is passing stool in open farmland. There is vegetables. There are food. Edible material is there. There are fruits in farming land. This feces containing egg will contaminate this food, fruits or vegetable. Now, the egg in feces will develop into larva. This larva along with this food, vegetable or fruit. How they will go into normal healthy person? Suppose if a person is unhygienic, not waste washing fruits and vegetable before using. So this lar egg containing this insisted larva with edible material that is vegetable that is fruit will be ingested by normal healthy person. Now this in a larva will go into GI tract intestine where larva will go into different blood uh, different organ of body by blood stream and they will reach to lungs in case of this after reaching larva reaching into lungs they will cause a disease known as leofler syndrome we will discuss in next slide now in lungs Either they are curved up or swallowed. After swallowing, 
they are re-entering into GI tract. Again, re-entering into GI tract, the larva will mature into mature female or male form. Again, this cycle will repeat. This worm will give egg and this will pass into stool. Again, this cycle will be repeat. This is a life cycle of Ascariasis. Now, what is Leofler syndrome? Leofler syndrome is characterized by increased eosinophils in lungs by response to a parasitic infection. What is Leofler triad? Pulmonary infiltrate in X-ray, elevated blood eosinophils, cough dyspnea along with wheezing. This is known as Leofler triad. What are signs and symptoms of Ascariasis? Ascariasis can move to different body part by a blood stream in form of larva. When Ascarius in larval form, they can pass into blood stream because of small size and they can reach to multiple very organ, many organs of blood uh, of body. They can cause enlargement of liver, spleen and cause inflammation of lungs. They, the worms, mature worms, when they are more in number in a small intestine, they can cause a small intestine or large intestine obstruction. This can present as an acute abdominal emergency, require surgery. The worm, mature worm, large in size, can block pancreatic duct, can cause blockage in biliary tree, can cause cholangitis, acute cholecystitis. The bomb in intestine can cause malabsorption and anorexia. How this malabsorption is taking place? Now, the ascariasis in ascariasis, ascaris is taking its nutrient from host digested food. Now, look, the food which is, which is taken by a person, patient or child for its survival, this food will be taken by this parasite Ascaris. So, the nutrition required for survival of patient, some nutrition will be taken by parasite. So, there will be malnutrition. Again, some digestive juices in patient or child can harm Ascaris. So, they secrete enzyme inhibitor. This enzyme inhibitor, what will do? Inhibit digestive enzyme which in turn decrease digestive enzyme and cause no proper digestion of food and ultimately lead to malnutrition in child or patient. How we can diagnose the case? On stool examination, there will be presence of Ascaris egg. On WBC count, there will be peripheral eosinophilia. On X-ray, there is 15 to 35 centimeter long filling defect. What is management? Albendazole, Mebendazole, Levimisole, Pyrantel pomade. Any of this drug can be given. But take this medicine on recommendation of pediatrician. Now, moving to ankylostomiasis, that is hookworm. Very important, very interesting. Caused by ankylostoma duodenal. Suck 0.2 ml blood per day by per worm. Each worm each day suck 0.2 ml blood. Female worm can give 9,000 to 30,000 egg per day. What is life cycle of intestinal hookworm? Ankylostomiasis. Ankyloma, ankylostoma duodenal. Now, this can be transmitted by two forms. One form is by skin contact or by fecal root. Fecal root we already discussed in case of Ascariasis. Now we will discuss about how skin transmission is taking place. It is a hook worm. There is presence of hook. Now listen, this is a person, infected person having hook worm in intestine. will give egg which will be passed through stool, stool mixed with egg of hookworm. Now, 
this egg will develop into larva larva having who if a person with bare feet bare foot having no slipper no shoes will go into soil where there is larva of hookworm is present what larva will do by hook they will bite skin of that normal person and enter into body by circulation this larva will go into general circulation by blood now the story begins and again by blood circulation this enter into body and again the larva reach into gi mature and form mature worm again cycle repeat this is a skin transmission and we already discuss about fecal oral route transmission in case of ascariasis okay now what are sign and symptom sign and symptom varies depending on organism anemia can be there because it is hookworm it is sucking blood ulcer type pain it can cause ulcer malnutrition because it is parasite what is treatment drug of choice is mebendazole Enterobiasis, pinworm, very important, most common worm encountered in pediatric OPD for children, caused by Enterobias vermicularis, thin, small, white round. This is diagram. Look. What is life cycle? How likes how life cycle of pinworm is taking place? Suppose this is a person, child, infected, having pinworm in GI tract. will give egg which will be passed through feces stool and this stool will where this will stool be passed in open land farming land where there is vegetable and fruits and this uh, when an a unhygienic people an unhygienic illiterate parent not washing vegetable fruit before eating what will they do they will do not washing fruits not washing vegetable by ingesting this vegetable and fruits child will have this egg of pinworm and then this will enter into gi where in a small intestine it will grow into mature worms again this will this cycle will repeat they will give egg pass through stool again cycle will repeat now one more important thing auto infection is there how auto infection is taking place in night in children illiterate pes illiterate parents of children not cutting nail of child nail of child is long what will do pinworm will give egg in perianal region or small pinworm come out in perianal region at time of night what will they do they will cause itching the child will itch by nails egg present in perianal region deposit in nail of child now as a child what is behavior of child everything they will eat and now egg containing egg in nail they will eat they will take in mouth from mouth the egg will go into gi again of child this is known as auto infection now retro infection what is retro infection in night in children's or male adult male adult female what will this do uh, pinworm this pinworm pinworm is giving eggs or pinworm coming out at perianal region in night time this will move in vulvar region or genital urinary region of patients and go through vagina enter into uterus fallopian tube coach salpingitis nocturnal aneurysis eczema genital tract infection so and drug of choice is as usual nabendazole 
always take consultation from pediatrician before taking any medicine tinnitus very important you have heard about neurocystocercosis caused by this tap worm tinnitus this is caused by tinnitus solium present in pig meat tinnitus saginata present in beef meat tinnitus asiatica known as asian tap worm in the human is main host animal are intermediate host how this life cycle is taking place suppose this patient is suffering from tapeworm infection in gi there is a tapeworm present now they will give egg this egg will be passed through feces stool of patient now this patient is giving passing stool in open farmland where there is vegetables there are green leafy vegetables there are fruits there are herbs there are saps there are leaves there are various plants these cattle will eat that egg containing vegetables fruits and the egg containing the egg of tapeworm will go into gi of these animals where this will mature into larva and larva will go into blood stream of these animals and develop into cysticercai when people eating meat will take meat of pig or any cattle this what will do the if they will not cook properly meat of this near cysticercai present in muscle of this present in flesh of these cattle or pigs or other animals will go into gi of normal person what will do this this do cysti sarkai larval form of tap form will go into blood stream will go into different organ this will go into brain this is known as neuro cysti sarkai so important most important cause of seizures in children listen what are sign symptom of this anemia in in, in indigestion cysti sarcosis lead to headache dizziness seizures dementia hypertension lesion in the brain blindness tumor like growth and low eosinophil levels drug of choice is this thank you very much for watching if you like share and subscribe